everybody, could you use some good news? Well, let's start with this. Physicists at CERN's Large Hadron Collider have reported yet another stunning observation that confirms the standard model of particle physics. Using the Large Hadron Collider, CERN scientists measured a B sub S meson, a relatively rare subatomic particle also known as the strange B, as it decayed into a pair of muons, elementary particles similar to electrons. Not as sexy as the discovery of the Higgs boson, perhaps, but like that particle, scientists have been hoping to observe this B sub S meson decay for decades. CERN announced the measurement of B sub S decay at an international physics conference held last week in Stockholm, Sweden. Also at that conference, a team from the Proton Accelerator Research Complex in Japan announced they had observed muon neutrinos transforming into electron neutrinos, something never seen before, and something that could potentially help to solve one of the oldest and most enduring mysteries of physics. Why is the universe made up almost entirely of matter and almost no antimatter? A big week for particle physics. Next up, a doctor at Imperial College London has invented a so-called intelligent knife that can detect cancerous tissue during surgery. The eye knife, because what else were they going to call it, was invented by Dr. Zoltan Takats. It combines the established technology of electrosurgery, which heats tissue during surgery to minimize blood loss, with a mass spectrometer, which analyzes the chemicals present in smoke produced by the heated tissue and determines if the tissue producing the smoke is cancerous. The eye knife was recently subjected to 91 real-time surgical tests and correctly identified cancerous tissues 100% of the time. Once the technology has been developed and refined a bit, Dr. Takats believes it will enable surgeons to ensure that as much cancerous material as possible is removed from patients while minimizing the damage to healthy tissue. The eye knife might also be useful in identifying tissues suffering from low blood supply and in determining which types of bacteria are present. Finally, on Friday, NASA's Cassini spacecraft, which has been orbiting Saturn since 2004, pointed its cameras back this way and took a series of photographs of Earth, including this shot, showing Earth as a tiny dot beneath Saturn's rings. NASA encouraged people to look up in the sky and wave in Saturn's direction as Cassini was taking the images. Looking at the raw pictures, it's hard not to be reminded of the famous pale blue dot photo taken by Voyager 1 in 1990. That image was taken at a distance of over three and a half billion miles. These Cassini images are close-ups by comparison, taken from a mere 900 million miles away. Here's my personal favorite. The bright star in the center is Earth. That's us. And that white dot below and slightly to the left, that's the moon. The Large Hadron Collider gives us another glimpse of our universe at the smallest scale. A doctor invents a knife that can detect cancer, and NASA's Cassini space probe holds a photo session with Earth from nearly a billion miles away. That's the good news. Right, Adi? Yeah. That's enough trouble out of you. Yeah. Okay. So typical. That's where all of the yeah. problems come from, from the uterus.